Shut up! You don't think Ryan is famous? Cousin Ryan. You gotta... Hey, what's up, YouTube friends and family? It's Cousin Ryan. Uh, I've got a couple more Home Depot pumpkins to review with you. We'll start with this guy, because this is the one that caught my attention first. There was two in this style. There's one slightly smaller than this guy, but it's the same coloring. It's a little more of a kind of round, tra traditional-looking pumpkin. Again, it's a little bit smaller. This one was $24.99, and the other one, I think, was $19.99. Um, there's a little switch on the bottom here, and you can see... It's got a flickering flame effect inside, which I'm a huge, huge fan of. I like the coloring of this one as well. It's kind of brown. It's not really orange. It's got almost more of like a, a gunny sack color to it, which makes me think this would be good as a head for a scarecrow. I will make note that this does say indoor use only. I'll probably use it like on my porch or in the carport undercover. So it won't be, it'll be outside, but undercover out of elements. Um, but I do like it as a scarecrow head. I think it's really cool. Um, the other one, I believe it'd be too small unless you're making a smaller scarecrow. But I also want to make note of the flaming effect in this one. It's different than this guy here. This is more of just a flickering LED, I think. Um, actually looking through the crack here, it looks like it's an LED strip that has some lights flickering. I would try to get the camera in there, but I don't want to pull it apart. You can see light leaking through the cracks there, but that's not, not a big deal, but it is quiet. I just want to make note of that. And again, indoor use only, timer six hours on, 18 hours off, flickering flame effect, limited one year warranty for that guy. Um, this one I think is pretty cool. It looks a little more um, like an actual well, I shouldn't say an actual pumpkin, but it's obviously the coloring is more pumpkin theme. It's got kind of a rotten look, which I'm a fan of. Um, let me see what else. Oh, I'll make note. This one is only battery operated. This guy has a port in the back for what looks like a compact USB plug. I'm going to turn him on so you can see. Can you guys see that? Here, let's go without this for a minute. Kind of see the flames moving up in there. And can you hear? I'll pull this up. You guys can hear that a little more. I think I like the flaming effect in this one better. It's more than just a flicker. It sort of looks like the flames are moving up. There's some LED lights in there, but there's also like a, a rotating, almost like a disco ball. And that's what that noise is coming from. There's a little motor in there, which also makes me think the batteries would run down quicker on this one. And that's why it uh, needs the USB plug if you want it to last a little bit longer. Um, I like the fact this one's quiet. I like the effect on this one better. But that is the big difference is the noise. So sort of up to personal interpretation, personal preference, not personal interpretation, personal preference which one you'd like. Um, there is another one similar to this, same uh, same size roughly, but uh, a different shape, more again, traditional round. There was another really cool one. I should have taken a picture of it. I didn't buy it. I was going to, and then when I tested it, the plastic in it was a lot thinner, and you could actually see the flame effect going through the, pl and it just didn't, it just didn't look right. Um, this one also has says indoor use only flame effect timer six hours on 18 hours off interesting that there's no one-year warranty um, for this one I really liked the mouth um, with like the, I don't know if, would you call those teeth or is that maybe like the pumpkin guts that are stretched out in the mouth I just think it looks looks really cool um, yeah $24.99 $19.99 and I think the other one I mentioned that you could see the flame effect through the pumpkin, I think that was around $20 as well. It was more the size of this one, but I think the thinner plastic is why it was a little bit cheaper than this. And is that it? Did I cover everything that I wanted to cover with these guys? Maybe. I don't know. If you have any questions or if I glossed over something that you want to know more about, just ask me down in the comments and I'll try to clear it up. And... That's it for now. Until next time, be excellent to each other. You know, sir, it's Cousin Ryan on the Hollywood Boulevard. You know, sir, it's bigger than any superstar. All of us pity some, some real to a bar. Some them sweeter than any chocolate bar. Boom!